Can you believe that the RTX 5080 is one of the three graphics cards that has caused so much controversy in the space of graphics cards? The 50 series graphics cards have definitely set the president in a negative light. And I happen to have a 5080 as my first ever graphics card. What's really exciting is I've actually tested the 5080 and I really do like it. I really want to dedicate this video not to reviewing the product because I'm still running tests. However, I do actually want to test out something a bit more unique. And what that is, is actually testing out gaming, but not just gaming because there's endless videos and just games. I'm talking more specifically about emulation. I will give you a rundown of the RTX 5080 in the emulation world, and I'll put this thing through the ringer, okay? Right, peace. Let's get, get into the video. So obviously today I'm just gonna run through a few emulations and a few games using the RTX 5080. So if you are curious how this runs, if you do have an RTX 5080 and you are curious because you're gonna get one anyway, let's just see how the emulation definitely plays out. Okay, there's a few emulators I've got here. I've got the Dolphin emulator with GameCube. Then we've got Xbox 360, which called Xenia or something, Xenia. Then we've got RPCX3. And then we've got Ryu Jinx. And we've also got a Steam game called Tekken 8. So let's start off with Tekken 8 just to get the big boy out the way. As you can see, just running smoothly. No issues, no frame rate drops, no nothing. By the way, I think the way it works is I think it locks onto 60 unless you do a bunch of mod settings and increase the frame rates. But yeah, so let's start off in story mode. Big fan of Tekken, by the way. Been playing Tekken ever since I was a kid. Cutscenes running smoothly at 60. No issues, no frame rate drops, no nothing. And like, look at this building. Like, it's, it's a big cutscene, you know? Ah, son and dad drama, as usual. And gameplay smooth. Let's go, let's go kick his ass. Right, it's enough of that. But yeah, 60 frames, no issues, kablam. Into another emulator. So now we're into the emulation world, okay? So we'll start off with a Switch because that's the most fun. So a few things about Ryu Jinx. Now, I know Ryu Jinx be discontinued. I know there's Yuzu. I know there's Siyu, Tsuyu. I know there's Yusoshi, Yososhi, Yosushi. I know there's Sushiverse. And the, okay, I'll just be stupid. <laughs> Basically, half these games work, half these games don't. It's not to do the grass card. It's just literally hit and miss. So let's start off with the heavy hitter. Tears of the Kingdom. We're getting 60 frames out the gate. No issues here. This is definitely the heaviest hitter on the map. As you can see, mate. Phenomenal, just for not look at you know what. Let's just jump into this. To this, not do that. So what I am noticing is, so it's it's just me being picky, but like actually no, I'm I'm trying absolute garbage. This is running beautifully. You you'll have like a slight like. I don't know what you call it. I don't know if that's screen tear though, because my screen isn't that good. <laughs> but what I'm seeing with my amazing impeccable vision is basically like, so it's not wrong with the graphics or the color, but it's just like, I'm seeing like this awkward like stickiness that comes, but that, that, that's just me being like really, it's like a frame rate drop and then it carries on. But honestly, absolutely beautiful. And I'm getting frame rate of 60 frames on tears of the kingdom without any settings adjustments without anything is bananas okay so uh, okay next game we're gonna try out mario odyssey so mario odyssey yeah And just perfect. No issues, no screen tearing, no nothing. Just like Zelda. I'd say this is a bit more smoother, but again, it's not so heavy. And I'll be honest, the controller makes it so much better. I'm just running around circles. This is why, like, when people were this in the 5080, bro, I was like... Ah, you don't get it. The 58 is a beast.
Right. That's it for Mario. By the way, we are getting 60 frames per second. Beautiful. So that's the Switch emulation done. Let's now move on to the Dolphin. Let's keep it in the Nintendo era, shall we say. Let's open up a game. Let's get Dragon Ball Z up. Oh, okay. Yo, check these PS2 graphics, you know. Well, then to the Wii graphics. Right, so that's the Dolphin emulator out the way. And then we've got, let's go with a bit more of a heavy hitter, like the Xbox 360. I do not know how to increase the brightness on this thing. So if anyone knows in the comments, let me know. But, saying this with the big bot, the game runs beautifully. Yep, 60 frames again. Right, so that's Sleeping Dogs. And we're now gonna do the final test, which is the PS3 games. So you get RC PS3. Right, so we'll play Call of Duty. Get this up. So that's basically it for all the emulators and I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Final verdict, let me just zoom back to my face. So final verdict, do I think you should get an RTX 5080 to emulate? Obviously not, I think that's a bit overkill, but I just wanted to show you that it can do everything. By the way, the CPU I've got is a Shadow, it's something, it's a AMD Ryzen 7 Shadow 3D. Now I know that this is also particularly good for gaming. However, I know I'm gonna need to upgrade to Ryzen 9 eventually if my CPU can't handle my video edits inside, but because the GPU is so powerful, it's kind of helped. I've also got 32 gigabytes of RAM and a Tomahawk Wi-Fi 7 MSI motherboard. So it is all good. And I've got some good cooling back there also. So understand like my PC is actually really good, but it's only classed as mid-tier, believe it or not, because you can have high-end ones like the, when you have the RTX 5090, things like that. But if you're gonna emulate, do I think you should do with the RTX 5080? The way I see it is like, if you like emulating and you just wanna emulate, then obviously this is a bit overkill, just go get a Steam Deck, but, and this is a big but, if you kind of like emulating, like kind of like I do, but, I needed the RTX 50 80 or 90 first, then yes, emulating is just like another bell, bell and whistle that you can have, okay? So that's it for today. If you liked the video, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and make sure to check out my previous video about me and my review about Scan. And yeah, that's it for today. Until next time, I will speak to you soon. Take care and peace.